Today is the Beard Oil launch. Yay! We are having a lot of my friends and family come, between Joy and Carmen putting in the hard work and getting us where we needed to be. We're finally here. I love that the sign was ready. It looks fabulous. He looks amazing. And you know, it's unisex now. Like if you, even, if you don't have a beard, you can still put it on your hair, your skin, all that good stuff, and they're gonna love it. Have your lady rub it on your back. All of that. <laughs> hey, 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 what's up, son? Hey. How you doing, know, brother? What we got going on here? I mean, I got something to get your afro back to the 70s, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, let's just put a couple of drops in your hand, and then tomorrow morning, if you have a full beard, like, just let me know what you think. Rub it in your skin, yeah. see. So you gonna put it on your, on, your, on your goatee, or you gonna smell it? Yeah, let me do it. Put, it. put a little bit on it, yeah. Put it, I do yeah. like the smell. Yeah, and then the rest is... no bull mm -hmm. I like the smell. I love seeing my friends doing well, making boss moves, business moves, excited for the brother. Petty's uh, happy, moving and shaking. The oil smells great. Even though I don't have a beard, you know, I got this right here. I can throw a little bit on there. I'm here for it. When you and Arena get home, it's not edible, OK? Just, you know, <laughs> let you know that first. Don't eat it. It don't taste good at all. <laughs> I hope the beard oil, you know, makes me a millionaire one day. It was created on a whim. It wasn't something that I thought that we were going to actually manufacture, because it was something I was using personally. But now, that people seem to like it, I mean, I'm gonna run with it. And hopefully that it picks up and, and everybody likes it. I'm excited that this is something that we both were able to do and are able to continue and, and see it grow and, and flourish. What's up, boy? How you? Uh, how you? How Good, you? thanks. Hey! Oh, the beard is in the building. Thaw, what's up, baby? What's going on? What's, what's up, baby? Thank you. Let me let you go ahead and get a sample of what it smells like, though, just rubbing it in. This smell like, come here, girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could pick one out it's on the way. Nice. It's nice. You making sales, baby. I want to thank everybody for coming and supporting me in my endeavors. I was on a show called Ready to Love, and on the show, everyone would, you know, compliment my beard, right? Joy said, you know what, you should make a beard oil, right? So I did it. From then to now, you know, it was a few speed bumps in there. You know, I didn't know, like, the trademark side, the copyright side. I'm so proud of Clifton. I must say, working with Clifton is amazing. We're very business-oriented. And also, we're good friends. And you never want to see your friend fail. So we started, and it was step by step by step. Of course, there were delays here or there, but now we're here. I'm super proud of him. Everybody says it smells great. I'm willing to you know, take everybody's positive and negative insights. Let me know what you think. Oh, we're going to give you that, feedback. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's my brother right there. Of course, he's going to come with the negative first. But you're going to be like, late. Can I get a bottle, please, on the house? Sorry to know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this time. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, thank you all for coming out and showing support. I love you all. Right. Can't have yeah. nothing without family and friends, man. Well, thank you all. Just see everybody here happy, celebrating. And my success is heartwarming. I mean, listen, I appreciate all the teamwork, all the help, all the support to get the Beard Oil launched and to make it a success. His success is our success. That's what it's all about. Yeah, but y'all all look alike, sound alike. It's crazy. Hey, ladies. Hey. Step up to my office. Because I want to know what happened at Joy's party. What was going on? Give me the tea. Well, it was cordial at first. Oh. Um, it was cordial the whole time, but it was just like, hey, how you Wait guys? a minute. You said cordial at first, and then... Well, I mean, like, you come in, and you like, hi, how are you guys, that type of thing. And then, you know, it's like, oh, we were just talking about, you know, you and the situation. We are genuinely friends who really are family, right. you know, and... We spent Thanksgiving together, like, right. we carved a <laughs> turkey. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, like, like, together. Yes. But the conversation y'all had the other night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, it had been, I feel like it had been rumbling in everybody's head for a minute. And I guess when they saw the video of, of us on vacation, it was like, okay, what's really going on? Ashley was like, you know, there are, you know, rumors or whatever. And I said, well, if that's the case, then you, Alicia, and Quick are threesome too. Ashley tried to pull me into this conversation at my birthday, and I'm sorry. I, it's, it's Joy's birthday. I, I don't have any time to worry about this or think about whatever is going on. Carmen is 
strong, diligent, whatever it is, I know she can she can shut this down. To me, it sounds like Carmen was defending us. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants to make, make assumptions. Mm -hmm. We can make assumptions. She can make assumptions. Everybody can make assumptions. We can all be some assuming motherfuckers. Right, and at the end of the day, everybody worried about the petties. Everybody. <laughs> we can't focus on what other people think because we know the life that we live. We know the relationship that we have. We know the foundation that we have. And everyone right here, all we want is for everybody to win. Right. As a married woman, I would not want anyone to think it's okay if I'm not in a poly relationship or an open marriage that my husband and I are sleeping with another woman. So I'm kind of curious on how she is gonna move forward. Is she gonna address them? Is she going to decide to just leave it alone? Is she gonna bring Clifton in this conversation? Like, this is like a huge support system. And you can call it a thruple all you want, but this is a thruple to win.